There is no one way to teach mathematics and for indigenous peoples. The answers lie in nature and their culture. We find out more about ethno-mathematics or the relationship of math and culture with Wilfredo Alangi, professor of mathematics at the University of the Philippines, Baguio. Good evening to you, Dr. Alangi. Good evening, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Can you just tell us uh, first, uh, Dr. Alangi, what is ethno-mathematics? Um, so precisely what, uh, what you just said, it's really uh, um, a field of study that looks at the interplay of mathematics and, and culture. Mm -hmm. So it was introduced in 1984 by uh, a Brazilian educator, uh, Professor Obiratan de Ambrosio. And since then, it has grown to uh, several countries around the world. Because mm -hmm. uh, when you say um, math and culture, parang hindi mo talaga, I, I, I mean, while I was reading the backgrounder for this, parang how can you relate a lot about you know, numbers to, to culture? Can you uh, further explain, especially yung application here in the Philippines? So uh, there, are, there are several reasons why we do ethnomathematics, but one of the reasons really is looking at um, the cultural practices of um, non-Western uh, societies and cultures and the possibility that there are concepts there that are related to mathematical thinking mm -hmm. so that uh, when you uh, are able to um, find these concepts in the, in the cultural practice, then um, we might be able to use this to improve the uh, performance of uh, students in mathematics. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, in in a highly systematized um, practice like uh, rice terracing uh, mm -hmm. in the Cordillera, for, for mm -hmm. instance, there might be ideas there that are related to mathematics that we can use to, to um, uh, relate it to the teaching of mathematics. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you're talking about, uh, for example, rice terraces, but uh, these are uh, practical applications, di ba? Yung mismo sa livelihood, ganan, yeah. sa farming. But uh, let's start first with education. Why did we, we, we come up with ethnomathematics first for the education of IPs? Um, well, main, one of the reasons really is that um, a lot of our students are not able to succeed in, in mathematics, no? And... Of for historic, historically marginalized uh, communities or uh, students like indigenous peoples, uh, hindi sila talaga, uh, medyo no huli sila no, uh, mm. sa performance in mathematics. So uh, what, we're look, uh, what we're trying to look at is um, the possibility that they, they can um, improve their performance in mathematics by incorporating ideas in their culture that may be related to mathematics. So... Mm. Um, what we're trying to do now is uh, to develop um, mathematical lessons that are grounded in the culture, um, incorporating ideas from cultural practices that are that that can help them um, appreciate and understand mathematics. Mm -hmm. Para ang sinasabi niyo, professor, is that uh, iba yung kumbaga, iba yung nakagis na nila, eh, uh, For example, in the city, uh, iba yung nakikita mong practices ng mga students. For example, when they when they see siguro jeeps or buses, yun yung parang madali nilang bilangin, ganyan. So, you mentioned kanina rice terraces, but how can you um, directly apply that to, to the concept of rice terraces, farming? Um, yung idea ng rice terracing is that um, um, with our, um, ano ba yung, yung study ko uh, on stonewalling, mm -hmm. um, yung mga stonewallers natin, yung gumagawa ng mga uh, tinatawag nating kabiti you know, to hold rice paddies, uh, may, mga, may mga ideas uh, doon na embedded sa kanilang practice uh, that, that can uh, help uh, the teaching of mathematics. For example, um, um, paano mo palalakihin ang ang area ng isang rice paddy through mm. stone walling. Mm -hmm. um, paano ito mag uh, magistand ng uh, ng pressure? How well um, gaano ito paano ito magtatagal no through the years. Uh, so ideas about height, about volume, mm -hmm. about water pressure, these are all uh, mathematical concepts that can be included in the teaching of mathematics and at the same time, relating it to a practice that is familiar to our students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Parang, so, isa, isa lang yan sa mm -hmm. example. No? Mm -hmm. Pero marami pa tayo. For example, weaving. Yes. Uh, ideas oh, yeah. about mm -hmm. uh, symmetry, mm -hmm. uh, about geometry. These are all. This can all be incorporated uh, in, in a mathematical lesson 
uh, that can help students um, understand or appreciate uh, mathematics better because it's something that's uh, related or familiar to them. Mm -hmm. But uh, how is your experience in teaching or using ethno mathematics? For example, when they go out in the real world or when, they, when uh, these IP students go out to work, uh, what is the application of this? Um, it's not really the application, mm. but it's uh, it, trying to improve their performance in mathematics. And mm. uh, there's enough evidence uh, that uh, this, this actually works. No, um, For example, um, in other, other parts of the world, in, in uh, Alaska, among the UP Eskimos, uh, marami ng studies dito which show that uh, developing modules that are uh, culturally, culturally relevant mm -hmm. to them uh, has actually improved their performance in schools. And ang maganda dito, not only among UPIC students, but even among non-Indigenous students, when they use these modules that are culturally um, relevant, uh, nag-improve din no? yung uh, performance ng, ng mga um, non-IP students. So that, that's what we're trying to do here in the Philippines, uh, especially with the project with uh, the Science Education Institute. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to develop... Um, mathematical uh, or lessons that are culturally grounded no we're, we're trying to indigenize mm -hmm. uh, their their uh, lesson plans so that uh, important aspects in their culture are in incorporated in these lessons and while learning mathematics appreciating mathematics they're also learning about uh, their culture mm -hmm. at um ang isang a successful story dito ay yung or experience ay yung um Pama, yung school for Mangyan in Mindoro, mm -hmm. no? yung Pamanaka, uh, para lang Mangyan uh, ng kulturang ating alagaan. Uh, they've been doing this for years, even before uh, the Dep Department of Education introduced the program in 2011. And actually, it's a, a, a good role model uh, on how to indigenize mathematical lessons mm -hmm. uh, because uh, their students are able to succeed um, in, in high school and some of them have also a gun to college. Mm -hmm. And uh, doctor, I also want to talk about yung discrimination kasi siguro more than just uh, teaching them yung uh, localizing no mathematics for the students. Hindi naman, we, we all know that sometimes, you, you know, they're also dis, uh, discriminated because they're IPs, di ba, when, when they go to schools. Paano rin po ito nakatulong? Um, yan precisely yung, uh, this, this, that's one of the reasons why we're trying to do this, no? Um, because we want our indigenous students to realize that their culture is important, their practices are important, and there are a lot of knowledge that's embedded in, in, in their practices. So, uh, it's, it's, we're trying to give them, uh, we're trying to make them be, uh, be proud of their mm -hmm. identity as indigenous peoples because their values, their culture are important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the idea is that uh, binibigyan natin sila ng uh, ng, uh, ng, ng ng parang pride, no? Mm -hmm. They we want them to be proud of their culture, mm -hmm. so that uh, they, they themselves can um, uh, can defend themselves from discrimination. Mm -hmm. Maganda po itong ethnomathematics, uh, not just education, but yung, yung practical application. But uh, do you think you, ha you have enough government support in promoting this and further pursuing uh, to expand yung application nito? Uh, that, that's uh, the good thing about uh, uh, what, what we're trying to do here in the Philippines now because this really is a, a part of uh, a government uh, effort to uh, introduce indigenous people's education. started with... Uh, uh, brother um, Armin Luistro in, in uh, 2011 uh, when they issued the Department Order uh, 62 which adopted the uh, policy framework for indigenous people's education in the Philippines. So uh, since then, um, the, the Department of Education has been uh, doing a lot of effort in um, promoting IP education and part of that is promoting a culturally relevant uh, mathematics education. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the moment, with the help of the Science Education Institute of the Department of uh, Science and Technology, uh, medyo kanto, no? nabibigyan pa ito ng further uh, uh, attention and focus. So mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of support from, from the government in mm -hmm. terms of um, uh, making our math education relevant. Thank you very much for joining us, Wilfredo Alangi, Professor of Mathematics at the University of the Philippines, Baguio.